got you into horror movies? I don't watch horror movies. Yeah, I fucking hate horror movies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I tattoo all, it, both of us tattoo like mad evil shit. Yeah, all day. Uh, yeah, no, I get nightmares. I don't watch horror movies. Yeah. Ah! I have always been into horror movies since I was a child. When I was a little kid, I didn't really get picked for baseball, so I came home and I spent my Friday nights and Saturday afternoons watching horror movies. I always was obsessed with horror. I wanted to see Scream like really bad when I was little. And then my parents finally let me watch it and I became obsessed and just had to watch every single horror movie I could get my hands on. And that's been the same until today. I'm obsessed. I like old school ones, you know what I mean? Like the, the old school jams, you know? But uh, I'm not crazy, dude. Like, I'm not crazy about it. It's like probably my least favorite like genre of movies. Yeah, I got a big imagination. You know? I'm going to sleep. I, I'm scared. Uh, I'm waking up in the middle of the night, tucking my toes under the sheets. I, yeah, horror movies are not for me. They freak me the f out. My art has always been based around horror and super villains and that kind of thing. I've got notebooks from when I was a little kid with skulls on them. And I always really, um, I think my whole history is horror. I've always been captivated by the dark side of human nature. I just love horror so much and it just actually, I just started drawing like all my flash is horror and all my clients started coming to me because we all have similar interests and it hasn't stopped. And it's pretty awesome that I get to tattoo horror like every week. <laughs> I'm naturally attracted to it, man. I just like, when I draw or like paint, whatever, I, I, I like doing that type of stuff where it's just dark stuff, mushy stuff, uh, you know, morphin stuff. Um. Yeah, although I like don't watch horror movies specifically, I've always just liked like the, the dark, surrealistic stuff. Yeah. The world's a pretty dark place, so it kind of like, tattoos already feel kind of like you know, obviously taboo in taboo, a sense, yeah, yeah. you know, but the dark stuff is like, I feel like it's an even deeper push to like, you get this dark evil sleeve. It's just like, it, it just, there's just something cool. There's a cool vibe about the art. That's pretty cool. It's like a traditionally kind of style. Yeah, spooky. Yeah. I love how he does the colors of his tattoos, like black and gray with like pops of orange or red or something. It's so dope. I want to get tattooed by this guy so bad, so tattoo me. <laughs> Too busy. When it gets older, I think it'll be blurry, you know, and, and it won't be very defined. You don't really want a dark background and a dark foreground. That's kind of a mistake, but, but I think uh, those bats are a little wonky, but um, yeah, it's okay. Is that supposed to be like Hannibal Lecter? So questionable. <laughs> well, done any time? Oh shit! Is that the real Hannibal? Is he eating people? Yeah, it's pretty horrible. But I find most people that tattoo their faces don't really get good work. It's more about just covering themselves in, shit, you know. Like imagine we're walking around with that on your face. Facial tattoos, a lot of times, are you want to change who you are, you want to hide who you are. And in that respect, you're not thinking about quality so much. You're more thinking about just hiding. This is some serious mental health issues to do, to make the decision to do something like this. Like you have to be pretty f***ed up. So I hope this dude finds clarity. Yeah. Oh, f oh my God. <laughs> mm, not my speed, really. He's just, he's so veiny in that. And then his, <laughs> like, we see his Look at his like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if those pants or muscles, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I don't really like it. I would love to do a tattoo like this. Yeah. I wonder if his, uh, oh, never mind, that's, uh, the, uh, the textures on his face match. Uh, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it all matches. His, yeah, his, uh, it's got to. His little pueblos, you know? Or it's got to. If you're gonna hold something while you're getting yeah, hurt, yeah, yeah, it's I'm most likely gonna be the, yeah, yeah. your face or your genitalia, and his face obviously yeah. wouldn't guard. And Freddie's amazing. I think it's just awesome how funny he is. And he speaks. I feel like nobody speaks except for Ghostface. And he's just so like sassy, like that. Oh, sick. Oh, damn. Uh, Who I, did that one? I did that tattoo. Oh, I, I, 
I know. What the f That tattoo is fire. That's good. I like that. I tried my best, man. You know? Yeah. I hope you like it. it it's good. It's, uh, it's, I like all that wetness in the mouth. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you sick. <laughs> No, yeah, it's, yeah. it's sick. Yeah, I know, no, I, it's I, a sick ass tattoo. Uh, it doesn't even register as a tattoo to me. Oh, that's such a great tattoo. It's just so, so great. Is that a tattoo? Or is that a marker? No, that's a tattoo. You can see the lines. Uh, you can see like the the needle wobbles. That, that looks like a freehand tattoo. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of horrible. I love the concept behind these tattoos for sure, but those are horribly executed. No offense. Everybody's got to start somewhere, you know. So. Yeah. Keep on pushing, Big yeah, Daddy, you yeah, know? Yeah. One day, one day. Oh my God, that's my tattoo. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty Frankenstein's well one of those ones where it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's super cool and it's like, if you really look at the tones in it, it's quite complex to do it. It looks cross-eyed, but it looks cool. I think he is supposed to be Is he cross-eyed? Yeah. Okay, then it served its purpose. I like the tones in it. It's on the lighter side of like light, softer shading, but I think, all that open skin is such a nice natural glow to it. Again, my favorite kind of tattoo to do is a Universal Monsters tattoo. Good image of Leatherface, good contrast. Never seen that movie, but the tattoo looks sick. I, uh, any, that, I that's, love that's, that's actually a good one. Any like know. little scenes underneath tattoos where you get like a big tattoo and the scene underneath, I always like to see the, the tiny details and that stuff. Yeah, cool. that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. This tattoo is awesome. I love it. The new Texas Chainsaw Massacre sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Oh, that guy sucks. Ah, oh, sick. The whole frontal. That's gotta be Booth. Could have been done better, but you know, it's all right. Um, it wasn't the best skin in the world, so I had a hard time with it. What is in the middle? That part's super weird. Man, the myth, the legend, the OG. Cat and black around your nipples. Yep. So you have a spooky horror torso. All the sick. But again, the Universal Monsters, there's just something special about them. Like, it's so nostalgic and cool. I love them. I, I love how his nipples are showing. <laughs> For the most part, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, it sits all right with me. The master. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Ooh, that's dope as fuck. Yeah. Good use of black. I love ghost face tattoo. Oh, my favorite. This is actually one of my favorite ghost face tattoos ever. I love this one so much. I love how he did like the shiny part on his, whatever he's wearing, his dress. That's actually pretty decent, very 3D. Yeah, it's sick. That's a cool one to do. I love how, I love how black it is. It's just yeah, it's just, it's just very high contrasty. So it's yeah. a fun one to tattoo for sure. And awesome. Sick. The mask being so white and valid that the black, solid black around it works good. Well, what's your favorite horror movie? Yeah, well. Okay, so I do actually have a favorite horror movie, right? The okay. greatest movie ever made. The fourth kind. No. What is Signs. it? Signs. Signs. No, the fourth kind is so much better for Are me, you though. Are kidding me? Signs, Signs is... sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. The atmosphere alone would have too much water in it. It would f***ing kill them. Yeah. Like, it's the dumbest twist ever. <laughs> just, just, just sit the f*** down, I'm bro. I'm sorry. Who doesn't like signs? I never heard anybody say they don't like signs. So f***ed up. The, I like the, like if the... If it rained, if it rained one day when they were there. Yeah. They would have died. Yeah, that's they the downfall them, of them. They showed them in, like, Brazil, where it's probably, like, 90% humidity would have f***ing killed them. Well, yeah, they probably figured it out first. And then you got to, like, no. and then they, then they, then, you know, when we got there, they said, any news from the north, you know? It's like... <laughs> 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 oh, my God, it's so bad. Yeesh. Chucky. Chucky. Okay, Chucky. Cool. What's up? What's up? But Chucky's great. He just skin stabbed rips. his way right out of that person's yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, dude. He, skin he definitely just ripped out. Yeah, that's weak. I don't like that one. It's a mess. Not going to age well at all. Like, I could throw Chucky a solid 20 feet. Yeah. It just seems unreal, unrealistic that even him with the knife, it's like, like, I have long legs, so I could just, you know, like, you know, like that right there, I didn't get stabbed. Dude, it's, because it's, I just it kicked would not get, I would not get stabbed. I mean, maybe I'll get stabbed once, but 
this I'm ripping that thing in half. There's no, I just feel like it's bullshit. And then yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. especially in modern technology, like, yeah. I, I have access to things like flamethrowers, like, you, you know, just no. Psh, psh. Chucky's dead, game over. Who's your favorite universal monster? Oh, probably Frankenstein, yeah. Frankenstein would be, because of the misunderstood monster, you know. Um, he never meant any harm, but he was grotesque and cast aside, you know. Any outcast could understand Frankenstein, and I grew up that way, so I felt like Frankenstein when I was a kid.